Hi everyone, it's David with BNP Press. Let's go over font manipulation in Quark Express. In this case, we're going to be using Quark Express 8. I'm going to type I am some type. Now there are several different ways you can perform font manipulation. Uh, one of the ways is up here in the menu bar. We should always go edit, select all, and then everything from that point on can be done in the style menu. So we can go to the font and choose a different font. Let's go with Arial. And now that our font's been changed to Arial, we can do some other things such as the size. And when you go to size, you have these predefined sizes. We'll change it to 18 point type. You also have other and now you can start typing in a specific size if you have one in mind, for instance, 27 point. And here you can pick the different styles. You can make them bold, italic, underline. Also the alignment. So if I click centered, notice it centers that in my text box. I'm switching tools so that I can show you the actual text box itself and that's what it is centering to is this actual box I'm going to switch back to my content tool you can do uh, lots of other things as well I'm going to put the alignment back to left now all of these functions can also be done in the measurements palette which is located under window measurements. I'm going to make it disappear window measurements. You can also hit F9. Now notice when I drag the mouse onto the measurements palette now you have this uh, little hidden menu inside of the menu come out and if you slow drag you can see where one is a frame the item we're looking for actually is the uh, is the character attributes and we can do the same thing in there that we were doing so we can pick a wholly uh, a wholly entire different font let's go with Baskerville, who doesn't like Baskerville? it's wonderful we can also pick a different size We can always put on our strike, our shadow effect. We can also italicize, underline, all kinds of good stuff right here in the measurements palette. Now, as far as placement, that's technically a paragraph attribute. So that's where we form that. Those are just a couple of the different ways you can form font manipulation inside of Quark Express. Thank you very much.